Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another art journal layout. Today I'm planning to work with these cuts. These are stamps by Stampendus, designed by Laura Birds. And if you're not familiar with her style, make sure to check her out. She's an amazing artist and I just love her style. Now there are also matching dies available if you want to avoid cutting. I will be working on my 6x6 uh, watercolor uh, art journal that I have been working for the last uh, couple of videos and uh, I'm just going to take off one of the pages and start working with my gel plate. The gel plate that I'm working on is a 6x6 plate which means that it's exactly the same size as my page and it's going to cover it up completely. I'm working with fluid acrylics, these are by DecoArt and I want to have a very dark background because I want to go crazy with the colors on my cut which is going to be later on my focal point. So I'm working with uh, phthalo turquoise and also uh, uh, Prussian blue hue. You will find uh, all the names and all the colors that I used down below in the description area along with every other supplies that I used for creating this page. So just because this is watercolor paper, it already has some texture and I like how that looks. Now I'm going to do another layer and uh, I always like to add uh, just a little bit of uh, paint on my jelly plate and add more if I need to than uh, apply too much and then I don't know what to do with that uh, paint. Anyway, I have completely covered up with uh, the darkest of my colors and now I'm going to use one of my stencils and I just love the stencil. It has so many designs on top of it. I think this is very versatile and you can use it again and again on your pages. It is uh, designed by Marlene for uh, the crafters workshop. Now I am going to pull one more print. The idea here is not to get the perfect impression. I just want to have something going on at the background with different layers but uh, pretty much monochromatic. This way I will not end up having a very busy background but at the same time I don't want to have uh, something totally flat. I want something going on back there. So I'm pulling another print now if you don't like white edges, although they look nice and grungy, you can cover them up by applying a little bit of uh, paint on your plate and then press as needed. This is metallic gold fluid acrylic again by DecoArt. I'm going to apply a little bit here and there. I'm not going to cover up the whole uh, plate. I'm going to pull a print and this way I will have touches of gold in different areas which are actually going to uh, add some uh, shine on my page. Now I am done with my gel plate for uh, the background, so I will go ahead and do some stenciling. I am going to apply some Versamark ink in uh, different areas of this stencil and uh, the fact that my Versamark ink cube is so tiny gives me the opportunity to apply ink only on certain areas of my stencil so I can pick and uh, mix and match all these designs and uh, place them where, exactly where I want them to be. I am actually applying uh, embossing enamel. This is an enamel by Stampendus and it's aged ivory, the name of it. It actually has uh, gold particles inside, so instead of uh, heat setting it from uh, the top, I would suggest to heat set it from the bottom. This way all those uh, gold particles will not fly away and they will uh, embed along with the rest of the embossing enamel. Once I heat set everything, I will try to catch the light for you and you will see how shiny it is. Also check the photos at the end of this video. And I repeat the same process again and again, picking different designs from my stencil and uh, applying them on my background by Versamarking and my embossing enamel. Now on to some jelly printing again. This time I'm using Distress Paints just to show you that uh, you can uh, pretty much use on these plates any acrylic that you have. Now the Distress Paints that I do have uh, have only a dabber on top. There are um, the same Distress Paints that you can get with um, a flip top which is easier for you to apply. But anyway I will work with what I have so I am applying the ink just to control it better with my spatula. Now I am applying uh, two colors here. These are Worn Lipstick and uh, Picked Raspberry. 
I'm working on scrap pieces of cardstock that I have uh, left over from uh, previous projects and uh, I want to introduce four different colors here. So I will play with um, mustard seed and spiced marmalade now and I don't even bother covering up the whole plate since I want just a few scraps of uh, paper covered with these colors since I want to use them to stamp my cut later on. Now I am cutting a small piece of this uh, cut and foam, but you can use a cosmetic sponge, you can use your blending foams, you can use uh, your uh, brushes, and I'm going to use the same stencil, and I'm going to apply a few of those designs on the papers that I have just created. I only concentrate on a certain area, adding that pattern, since I won't be using the whole page. And now I can go ahead and start stamping, so I'm using my black archival link and these are the mini archival links that have just been released. I'm going to stamp the head on the pink paper that I have just created and as you can see I'm not going to use up the whole uh, paper here, so I always like to hold on to those scraps because they have uh, lovely patterns and I can use them for other stamping on uh, projects that I will be working in the future. Now on the body of uh, the cut I am going to stamp uh, this pattern, there are actually three different patterns in the stamp set, and then I'm going to run everything through my Big Shot. One thing that I absolutely love about this stamp set, the tribal cuts, is that they come with a stencil inside and that they actually give you both the stencil, and the positive and the negative. And uh, it's great for doing lots and lots uh, of techniques. Now another thing that I love about Stampendus is that uh, their dies cut out exactly where the black lines are, so they don't give you that white uh, border that looks like a sticker. Now uh, as you can see there are uh, no black lines on the tail and on the body of uh, my cat, but since there are black uh, lines, lots of them on the head, I need to make everything consistent and look as if it's a part of one piece, so I'm going all around the edges with my black marker and I'm adding even more patterns with uh, this stamp which comes from the same set as the cuts. So now everything looks uh, consistent with um, little markings, both on the head, on the tail and on the body. Now I'm going to decide where everything is going to go and then I'm going to stick everything down with my matte medium. So since uh, this layout is actually inspired by my cat Ginger, I just uh, couldn't help it and I had to use as a quote one of the quotes that comes in this booklet by Dilusions and it says mostly I just sit around being fabulous and that's exactly what my cat does all the time. So I have cut out all those little uh, pieces and I'm going to stick them down with my matte medium. Now this is where you can call uh, the page done, but uh, as always I will be adding a little bit of shading, some doodling here and there, but before I go ahead and do that I need to make sure that all the matte medium is totally dry, otherwise I will ruin my markers. So I'm going to bring in my Dilutions paint paints and uh, I'm going to use bubblegum pink to add uh, some uh, doodling here and there and uh, this actually writes opaque which means that it's going to show nicely on top of uh, the paint and uh, I'm also going to use the yellow one here and there and I'm going to bring in my white gel pen there is actually a Dilutions paint pen in white as well as in black which I don't own yet but they are coming to my house soon since I am really in love with those pens now I'm also going to add some shading, so I will bring my big uh, brush markers to color in her tongue, add some shading on the sides which are going to help my cat look more rounded and I'm always uh, working with a big brush pen that is slightly darker than the color underneath. So I'm adding shading on the nose, on the sides of the head Nothing has to be perfect, just add a darker color there and it's going to help everything pop. Now I'm using again my white gel pen to add the whites on her eyes. And you can go on and on with uh, that shading and doodling all over the place. So let's move on to the next step. 
And since this cat is so fabulous, I couldn't help it but add some uh, shine uh, with my gilded mica fragments. This uh, is a product by Stampendus and I'm just sticking them here and there by using my matte medium. Remember that in mixed media it's always nice to add uh, different textures and mediums that you have in uh, your stash. And now it's time to add the whiskers. And you can even uh, use white thread for the whiskers, which would add an extra texture on your page. So now it's time to put everything back together. And the third page on my 6x6 art journal is ready. Here are some close-up photos of the project that I made today. Don't forget that there is a full list of all the supplies used down below in the description area. I hope you had fun and got inspired, and I'll see you next time.